tonight is a special installment of the 74th annual Hunger Games coverage. Although the games have been viewed by every citizen, tonight we will have the chance of an intimate interview with some of the key players, both in the arena and behind the scenes, including Katniss Everdeen and Pita Malark. But first, we will visit with Hamish Abernathy, who is both the former victor and mentor from District 12. Welcome, welcome, Hamish. Have a seat. Hey Mitch, if you don't mind me saying so, you've cleaned up quite a bit since our audience witnessed your less than sturdy entrance at the region. Well, Cecil, I have finally been handed some serious tribute, something worth cleaning up for. Indeed you have, but aside from the tributes themselves, you made some pretty significant contributions in the outcome of the games. Tell us a little bit about this. You know, for a mentor like me, it all starts on the train ride to the capital. This is, this is the first chance I have to size up the tributes and see what kind of material I have to work with. Katniss and Peter are both fiercely determined, and that was clear right from the beginning. So aside from your personal training and your advisory role, what other contributions did you make during the games? Sponsor support is huge during the games. The, the gifts that a mentor like myself can send to the tributes during the games can mean the difference between life and death. Looking back, what would you say was the most significant gift you were able to send during the games? I think the audience would agree with me that seeing Peter's legs so badly infected and the blood poisoning set in was most disheartening. What Peter really needed was the antibiotics injection so generously provided by the capital. Well, I certainly could not provide that. I was able to send a gift to help out in this situation. I think we actually have footage of that. Let's take a look. Katniss, I need you to know, if I don't, I mean, if I don't make it. Don't talk like that. Of course they're going to make it. If only I could get to the feast at the cornucopia, I know the capital would send antibiotics. No. It's a setup. They'll try to kill you. You can't. I go alone. I'm coming with you. You can't. You're in no condition. And and I'm not going either. You're a terrible liar, Katniss. Oh, what do you know? What do I do? What do I do? Peter was surely himself killed if I don't go to the cornucopia. I need something. Just something. Sleeping syrup. What does he want me to do with this? I know. Thanks, Hamish. Peter sounded pretty determined to accompany Katniss on her trip to the cornucopia. Did you worry that your gift of sleeping syrup would upset him? As a mentor like me, I cannot be concerned about my, my tribute feelings. I just have to do what is necessary to keep him alive. True, true. Profound statement. Next, we will have the opportunity to hear Peter's reaction to this event. But first, a few words from our sponsors. If you two have run out of ideas for how to repair tesserate in your home, do not fret. The odds are ever in your favor. The top chefs from the chapel itself have worked together to bring you this new cookbook, Tesserae Made Easy, with over 40 new ways to use Tesserae in your everyday menu. Let's 
cookbook is now available free of charge to every family who submits three extra entries into the reaping. Just think, more test ready for your family and a cookbook. What are you waiting for? Welcome back, and a special welcome to both Katniss Everdeen and Pita Millark. Welcome, welcome. I love your crown. Thanks. Have a seat. Take us back, Peter, to that moment when you discovered that you had unknowingly ingested sleeping syrup. How did you feel? I couldn't help but feel a little betrayed. It's hard to be on the receiving end of such a brave and selfless act. While it looks like you have been able to forgive, it is very clear to see that you both care for one another. Peter, how do you think people uh, will react at home? I think my dad will be the most pleased. He really had a thing for Katniss's mother years ago. Oh, 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 so are you, so you are getting to live his dream. And speaking of dreams, how do you think the Hunger Games has changed your dreams for the future, Katniss? I am just relieved to know we're alive and have a future to dream about. I'm excited to go home and see everyone. Our mayor's daughter, Madge, gave me this good luck charm to wear in the arena. I want to thank her personally for it. I am looking forward to the home and food we get as winners of the Hunger Games. It is going to bless my mom and sister, Prim, as well. And then there is Gail, my friend who I know has helped my family while I've been away. I'm not sure how things have changed between us now, but I want to thank him. Well, the games have a way of changing everything for all of us. Thank you for being with us tonight as we continue to celebrate the outcome of the 74th annual Hunger Games. Until we meet again, I am Caesar Flickerman, and may the odds be ever in your favor. <laughs>